the making of a Freed of London Point shoe. Our maker would begin by stamping the sole with the size, their maker mark and the fitting width of the shoe. Once the correct last has been taken from the stock bins, we attach the sole to the last using a staple gun. Using the relevant sized upper, we pull it over the last, pin at the toe and staple the upper at the seat of the last. Using a combination of paste, hessians and cards, we build up the block depending on the dancer's specifications. Next, we pleat the shoe tightly around the last. We then tie the shoe down, ready for us to open the sole channel before it can be stitched. Excess material blocking the sole channel is cut. After being stitched, we remove the staples and cut the shoe down, ready for turning. Using the insole specified on the order sheet, we then paste the insole ready for insertion. We proceed to turn the shoe and put it back onto the last, performing one of the final acts of creation, known to our team as the bang out, otherwise just shaping the shoe. Using a polished hammer to actually shape the shoe, we then insert the inner sole that was previously pasted, before repeating the entire process to finalise the shape of the footwear.
Depending on the order, some point shoes require the sole to be tacked down. We then write the dancers' surnames on the soles of the shoe and also stamp the date that they were made. From here we measure the shoe to match the order form, marking out where the vamps, sides and back of the point shoe need to be cut. Once cut, the shoe is put through its first stage of binding. The second stage of binding is completing this work of art, attaching either cotton or elastic drawstrings. The binding that holds the elastic is folded inside and stitched neatly. The shoes are given one final quality check before being prepared for dispatch.